Good afternoon, Amy Stevenson with your local headlines. Hundreds of Tasmanians have registered for an event at Parliament Lawns in Hobart tonight following the death of budding comedian Eurydice Dixon last week. A vigil will also be held in Launceston tomorrow while a GoFundMe page has been set up to support the 22-year-old's family, which has so far raised more than $65,000. The state government has come under fire for its health spending despite the party increasing investment with in the state budget. 30% of the budget will go directly to the health sector, including $475 million for infrastructure and new funding for new beds and additional staff. The state government has made an $800,000 available to accelerate work on three Tasmanian driving journeys. The new journeys in the north, northwest and south will complement the Great Eastern Drive and progress on the Western Journey project. And in sport, Clarence have continued their blistering form in the TSL over the weekend. The ruse caused a stirring boil over yesterday, mowing down North Launceston to snatch a thrilling two-point victory after trailing by 19 points at the final change. Now a look at the weather and on the satellite, heavy showers in the east, cloudy and scattered light showers to the west. Checking the capitals, Melbourne and Adelaide both 14 today, Sydney reaching 16. In our north, Burnie a sunny 13, showers in St Helens and 12. To the south, showers in Hobart and a high of 11 degrees, a wet day in Grove also with a top of 12. To the four-day forecast now for Hobart and a mostly sunny week ahead before the chance of rain later in the week, heading for a top of 14. 14 on Thursday and Friday. And in Launceston, a wet end to the week also with showers predicted from Wednesday, maximum temps sitting in the mid-teens.